What's up, you guys? Chase the Dark Sage here, and today I didn't really think I'd have to make this video. You get what I'm saying? It, it took me a while to make this video, and I've definitely procrastinated on actually filming this video right here, but there's no better time than now. So I guess it's time for me to talk about it. And if you guys have not peeped on my Twitch channel, that well, I'm not really streaming right now. In fact, I'm taking an indefinite hiatus. Now, does that mean I'm gonna be gone forever? Of course not. I would love to do more stuff on the Twitch channel, especially with you guys, the supporters that are always coming through to the Twitch channel. But honestly, right now, I just don't have the passion, nor the drive, nor the creativity to really keep streaming on Twitch. And this could be for a myriad of reasons. You get what I'm saying? Because if you guys do not know, I have about four YouTube channels, which obviously this is one of them that I'm uploading this on. And uh, on this channel, we had the Twitch clips and some of the Twitch streams themselves. We have another channel where I'm doing a read through of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure right now. We have my main channel where I talk about manga collecting and anime collecting in general. And then we have my fourth channel, which is me just talking about entertainment and media. And if you don't know, I upload seven days a week. So I upload one video a day. And you can obviously see that that's kind of taxing on your boy, especially when it comes to me having to toss around creative ideas or just actually being consistent within all the channels. And it kind of just drive my creativity up. Now, I shouldn't be taking this out on the Twitch channel, but the reason I do that is because, well, whenever I come to stream on Twitch, I honestly find it as a place that's a kind, of, kind of a bit therapeutic. You get what I'm saying? I don't really go out much, so when I'm on the Twitch streams, I kind of see you guys as my friends, and I'm hanging out with you guys. We're all reacting to stuff. You know, we're giving our commentary on things, and you guys are just roasting me, which, you know, I, I'm pretty cool with y'all roasting me, obviously. But when it just comes to Twitch, uh, some nights, you know, I've been streaming recently, I didn't really have the drive to stream. I didn't really want to stream. I didn't really have anything to talk about, anything to give my opinions on. And you know, I, I like to be consistent. That's my main thing is I like to be consistent and I like to be upfront with you guys as well. And honestly, I just kind of felt my, you know, my creative juices kind of drying up. And I just really didn't feel like streaming on Twitch, especially when I could have been investing that time to, in other places in my content creating that I'm actually enjoying as of right now. Now, I do enjoy Twitch overall. And one of the bigger reasons that I stopped or at least going on an indefinite hiatus as of right now is because, well, I didn't really see my Twitch like going anywhere. And I know I'm not trying to say that, you know, it's all about the money or anything like that. But honestly, I could have been dedicating or devoting that time to something else that is making me money that is paying for equipment like this that's paying for the lights like this that's helping keep this type of stuff on right here or helping at least pay for a lot of the bills that i do have because well while it is free content that you guys are probably watching it isn't free to actually upkeep a lot of this stuff especially when i upgrade equipment like this this is a very expensive mic i'm not gonna lie this is very expensive and when i don't see my twitch really going anywhere and like i said i don't do it purely for monetary purposes i do it more to hang out with the homies but when it comes to Twitch, I, I just felt like I was being very stagnant and I don't like being stagnant. And at some point I tried to compare myself to others, not saying like, oh, why do they have this many numbers and I don't, or why do they have this many subs and I don't, I just want to see why I wasn't growing, why I wasn't having more community members coming in or things that I could improve on that maybe I wasn't just delivering as a content creator on myself. That's me taking accountability for probably something that I don't have, but I'm open to criticism down in the comment section down below. I don't know, when you get into that comparison thing and you kind of feel lesser than the other people, and I know that comparison is kind of like a thief of joy, but you gotta compare yourself because I'm a super competitive person. That kind of keeps my drive for going with many things like my YouTube channel. I'm comparing myself to my peers. Am I saying that I want them to be lesser than me? No, but those are the people that keep me on my toes, to keep me on my A game, to keep me going and pushing and always like progressing with what I'm doing. And with Twitch, I didn't really have that. Like you get what I'm saying? I just feel like, I don't know. I don't know. I see a lot of the other people that I watch on Twitch and I see that they're having fun and I was having fun as well but i don't know it's just the stagnation of me being on twitch it just really wasn't you know fitting with what i like to do or my style so i'm not saying that like i said i'm not doing this just for the money i love to hang out with you guys but when i could be devoting that time more to actually creating content and not being so burnt out on actually making the content because like i said i do upload seven videos a week you kind of get burnt out at some points and you kind of want to take a break or kind of take it easy on some other places so i don't know this video is just to kind of talk to you guys and, you know, get this, get these thoughts out of my mind about me either comparing myself to others, which, you know, I, I'm going to do that either way, no matter who you are, you're going to, you're going to compare yourself either way. And you're also going to think about how people see you, especially when you kind of trying to Twitch stream and you don't want people to leave the stream or be bored of what you're doing on stream and things like that. So I don't know. You guys can catch me on my discord. I'm always on my discord. So 
if you do want to interact with me that way and you can't do it on twitch streams you can go ahead and do that i do have three other channels if you're viewing this on one of my four channels um but yeah twitch was just taking up a part of my life that you know i i dedicated a certain time slot to and to me i just wasn't seeing it as I wasn't seeing it as anything that was really progressing me forward in terms of me making content, me growing subscribers, me growing a more a bigger follower base or a bigger support base. I could do all that stuff in Discord and I do like to do it on Twitch. And the main reason I like to do it on Twitch is because you kind of get around like copyrighted stuff on Twitch more than you can YouTube. YouTube, they'll just shut your stream down. At least with Twitch, they'll just mute it. And if you guys do want to check out some of my older Twitch streams, well, they're on the channel and not all of them because some of them do have anime watch parties in there. And I obviously can't put that up on YouTube. So yeah, I don't know. This is just a video updating you guys on my indefinite hiatus. I hate that I had to make this video. I'm not usually the guy to make this video, but you know, I wanted to keep you guys updated. I wanted to keep you guys informed. And like I said, you could go in my discord and hit me up if you need to or we could do watch parties in there or something like that. I just don't want to do it on Twitch where I feel like I'm obligated to do something at a certain time slot. And I do want to say that I do highly appreciate the people that were coming through and supporting the content over there on that side as well, because I don't want you guys to feel like you're underappreciated or that I, I didn't notice that you guys were doing that. Trust me, I noticed it. It just, you know, it just really wasn't driving me enough to do it on a platform for monetary gain, essentially. Like I said, all the stuff I do on Twitch, I could do in my Discord. And people could come and go, and I could literally come and go. I have no obligation to do it in a certain time slot. But yeah, that's about it for the video. Um, no outro, no intro. Um, make sure you follow me on all my other socials, and make sure you join the Discord. Um, there, there, there should be a link in my link tree. I don't know, or my all my links, whatever it's called. Uh, so join the Discord. Uh, make sure you're joined up because I do put announcements in there, like they're my newsletters, to keep you guys updated. Because I feel like that's the best place to find me because I'm always going to be in my Discord. That's the one thing I kind of can control compared to like my YouTube channels and things like that. And I'm not going to make you guys sign up for no email newsletter because well, I'm I'm not the type of guy. But yeah, make sure you join the Discord um, and follow me on all my other channels to keep updated with me on all the other content that I'm doing. But yeah, like thank you guys for coming through. Dark Sage out or Chase the Dark Sage in this case. Peace.